In Roller Coaster Park, you are in charge of building the best roller coaster park in the country. Starting with an empty park, you can build paths, buildings and rides. They attract guests to fill up your park and your bank balance. The winner is the player with the most money at the end. Each player takes a sheet and a pencil and some colours if you like. Then take two six-sided dice which are used by everyone. There are a couple of things to keep track of. Your money and the number of guests you have. At the bottom of the sheet are circles you can use to track money, draw a new circle or around multiple circles when you gain money and cross them out when you spend it. Or you can use the turn tracker to keep track of your current money total each round. Guests are crossed off when they enter the park to help you keep track of how many you have compared to your current maximum total guests. You can increase this maximum by building stalls in your park. Each round we will roll the dice and everyone uses them to take actions. All players can change the die results by plus or minus one when using them, which does not interfere with the other players. Dice cannot be manipulated below one or above six. Using the dice you can take three actions, building, attracting guests or passing. When building, use one of the dice to choose what you're building, paths, buildings or rides. The other dice determines what type you can build or how many paths you can build. Each new building or path needs to connect to an existing path and costs the amount of money listed. Draw in the shape that matches and feel free to mark the different types using colours, letters or doodles. You cannot rotate ride shapes by default. Write in the stool and building type to keep track of which ones have been built. Paths allow you to connect more areas. Stalls provide you with more maximum guests and provide ticket bonuses. Rides give you spaces for new guests. Each corporate building gives you a different special ability, which can be used at any time after they're built, unless specified. When you pass, gain $3 instead of 2. Spend $5 to build any stall. Spend $1 to change the die results by plus or minus 1. Spend $3 to build a tunnel, which adds a new path two spaces away. Spend $1 once per turn to build a new path section. You may rotate the thrill rides and roller coasters when you build them. When you are attracting guests, use one dice to choose which type of guests are coming to the park, and the other to determine how many there are in the group. In order to attract a group of guests, you must have spaces on their preferred ride type and enough stalls to provide the new park guest total. Fill in spaces on the rides to show they have been filled, and mark off the guests on the tracker. Each new guest adds to your total money, and each type of guest has a bonus stall, which gives you an extra dollar. The last action is passing, which gives you two dollars. The game ends after 20 rounds. Count up your total money. The player with the most money wins.